Bonaparte, would you have dared to signalize yourself beneath that dreadful regime? Thou wouldst have quickly partaken of the fate of the brave Vestimas. What can be the aim of the indulgence which they demand for Berer? Is it that they intend to recommence the work of those individuals? I forbear to call them men whom they endeavor to make appear innocent. Pardon, legislators, pardon me these transports of indignation. I fancied myself near to the year eight of the Republic, but by a rapid and retrograde movement, I find myself brought back to 93, for I hear the virtues of Barrera talked of. Indulgence for the misguided crowd and even for the guilty, but not for the satellites of that splenetic tyrant to whom Thermidor did justice, but too late and who wanted only a little genius to enslave us. How can they dare to lament over those beings who have committed every excess, who are guilty of every crime, who exercised every tyranny, and who are still disgusting with innocent blood? Ferrer beheld then his exile prolonged. It belonged only to a stronger and calmer power to render even to Ferrer the soil of the country against all human probabilities, providence. In the disasters of saint jean d'Acre, prepared for France the accession of that reparatory government. But was it not very strange that those same men who showed themselves so vigorous towards Rubel and La Riviere demanded at the same time to recall a barrier? The question of the civil oath to the National Guards offered to the Jacobins a more favorable result. This oath bore the words of hatred to royalty and anarchy. They proposed to suppress the last word. Anarchy, said they, is the absence of the government. It is absurd to swear hatred to that which is negative. The General Jordan, the conqueror of Fleury, supported that suppression. A middle party terminated the quarrel. The civil oath bore afterwards hatred to royalty and all sorts of tyranny. The ancient sanctioned the change that the Jacobin party celebrated as a victory. The real victories of that party had been the laws of the hostages and the forced loan. But they pretended then that those laws fortified the government. But above all, they desired to draw the center of action in the Council of 500, and to succeed, it was necessary to abase and weaken the directory. It was for that purpose that the paper of the Freeman and the Club of the Jacobins were constantly working at concert. Siez was become more than ever the object of their hatred after he had unmasked them in the solemnities of the 10th of August. This passage in his discourse at the Champ de Mar had torn the veil, which upon the ninth Thermidor he had only lifted. The directory knows the aim of those men. What they desire is to intoxicate the public with mistrust, to carry confusion and discouragement into people's minds and to drive the French to despair, to throw all into confusion. It is in a word that they may govern at whatever price it may be. Frenchmen, you know how they govern.